The horse and pony are both classics. The major difference is how much air that you put into the horse. So if we take a solid colour, if we leave about 6 inches uninflated, then it's a horse. If we leave about 8 inches uninflated, then it's a pony. For the start of the horse, what we're going to do is we're going to put on a 2 inch nose. And then we're going to make two one and a half inch bubbles, which are going to be the ears. What we do is we lock first these two bubbles together. That is the start of the horse, the horse's head. We then make a neck, and the neck is going to be about four inches long. Then comes the distinguishing characteristic of this figure. We're going to make a series of six one inch bubbles. And you'll notice that as I do this, I twist these bubbles a lot. <laughs> if I don't do that, they will come undone later. Five, six. And we'll twist these two bubbles. Of that chain of six, we'll twist the first and the sixth bubble together. This will be the main. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bubble here, and I'm going to roll them over the ears. So I take it, push it up, I roll over, I it. That is now the mane of my horse. I then finish off very much like a dog, I'll put on a 4 inch bubble, another 4 inch bubble, I'll lock twist those together. Those will be the front legs. I look at the back, I'm running a balloon here, so I'm going to take about 2 inch bubble, 4 inch, 4 inch, and that will be the tail. So I lock twist those together, we have front legs, we have back legs, we have a mane, ears, and, and we can check to see if it's a real horse.